Welcome back to Project Cars Career Mode. And let's let's take a recap. Let's stop and take a recap. So last race we were at the Nürburgring and we got properly screwed over by the weather. This week we are at the Cathedral of Speed that is the Monza circuit and if we go and look at the championship standings there are two points between me and second place and only 11 points between anybody in the top four which effectively means it is all to play for let's call it win or bust let's call it that situation if we win we win the championship and I am NOT considering any other outcome I'm going for the win That's all that's on my mind. Uh, let's recap qualifying while we have a couple of minutes. Um, aced it. Aced the qualifying. I think my lap time was a 141.6. 141.6. Nobody else uh, got close, basically, in my class. Absolute domination. But we're gonna before we go into the race today what we're gonna do is go into the calendar we're just gonna uh, well, I'll tell you something we're not doing six hours <laughs> no way we're not, we're not doing six hours come on project guys you're having to laugh we're doing two hours well apparently we're doing two hours and two minutes because uh, that's how this race goes or should we do hmm yeah okay as it's the decider we'll add an extra half an hour we'll pop them up to 87 so they might be a little bit more competitive and uh, oh yep yeah, uh, get my words out something else before I start um, I'm taking a vocal zone to help my throat because when I did my uh, qualifying video yesterday uh, my throat got hella sore afterwards and I want to try and avoid that happening again today because uh, it took a whole day for that to get back so with all of that said let's go and let's get it on let's get racing make sure everything is muted that needs to be muted uh, sorry if you can hear some background noise that's a lot going on in the other room Let's hope it's a dry race. Let's hope for a dry race. Let's hope it actually loads first. There we go. Took my eye off the screen for a second. I want to check the pit strategy. We want this. Yeah, we want that to be active. So we have. We've not actually been setting a pit strategy, we've just been diving for the pits whenever we feel like it in the last two races. So today we're actually going to go and we're going to have a strategy. Hopefully, in theory. I hope it works, I don't know. Alright, let's, let's go. Let's race. Let's see... Hell yeah, Christian, let's do it, boy. I nailed that start, too. Holy damn, that's the first one I've actually nailed, I think. Kinda deep at the chicane. Oh, 
know what the hell's going on here, but I'm almost keeping up with some uh, prototype one cars. I've left my guys for absolute dead. And I've missed the chicane. So, in keeping with tradition, let's do it properly. Rules and regulations in uh, Formula One state, we have to go around those cones, so... That's what we'll do in this race if I uh, make a mistake. Holy oh, shit, it's insta-steering. Coming up to Ascari. Let's pick the right braking zone. Actually, that was nowhere near the right braking zone. Well done, Paul. You're doing great, buddy. You are doing fine. Started so well. See if we can get a slipstream. Holy shit, back in, stepping out. Wow, that was apex speed and a half. He carried too much speed into the apex, he cost himself the position. Screwed himself over there. We'll take it though. Breaking point a little bit better this time. Not sure that was all that much better, to be honest, but we made it through the corner. I guess that's all that really matters. We'll take a different line to what we took in Quali. We'll take the racing line today. Forty-three. We can do better. We have a forty-two race lap in us. We are exactly where we need to be for the championship, though. So. Let's try and maintain that. By not driving like an absolute div through the chicane. Lesmo 1. Lesmo 2. Down towards the old banking and the Ascari chicane. Oh, why they uh, are so slow through us, the Lesmos? But they are so. We'll take advantage of it and we'll kick the gravel trap up. Nicely done through the parabolica. Right 
not bad through the first chicane. A little bit stuffy into Curva Grande. Settle into a rhythm. There's the banking we're going under. Bring it slowly to the left by the end of this straight. It's a very bumpy straight and this avoids the worst of the bumps. I don't know what the hell everybody else is playing at back there. They are nowhere. And that's on 87%. I could probably have bumped them all the way up to 90. Holy shit, I got a bit of grass there. Grass under braking is not a good idea. Neither is pushing too hard into a chicane. I have noticed more than any other track so far is the difference between a qualifying fuel and the race fuel really does make a difference here. Not that extra weight on it really uh, throws the tail out a little bit. Well, we ballsed ourselves. Ballsed ourselves. So we're already coming up to some traffic. Looks like we're already throwing it sideways through Ascari. Pushing too hard. Take the quality line to get around these guys. Give them a flash and let them know we're coming. Your pace is slowing. Come on, we're all ready for you. 
Yeah, pace is slowing because I did a poor lap, Christian. You don't need to worry about it too much. Just a couple of mistakes. That's all it was. Dude, stick to your line. Take my line. Whoa, two-wheel bonus. Knew I was going to do that at some point. Let these guys know we're coming through. Jesus, he broke. Sorry, I tapped him. Didn't mean to. It's very hard from this angle to see where the front end of the car actually is. Two wheel bonus. Trying to take too much uh, curve through that second chicane. I can't be doing the suspension much good. <laughs> That's to be said. Oh, there's been a development behind. Josh Renfro has been overtaken by Josh Cook. So our closest championship challenger is not having a very good race. That's just what we needed. what's happening to them through that last sector but they are losing a hell of a lot of time can't be all down to traffic Lost two seconds there, but that probably in some part was due to traffic.
I need to take the qualifying line, buddy. Like somebody was a mile off the track on the mini map there. Whether I just uh, was seeing things or what. Put a wheel on the grass. No big deal. A little bit out of shape there as well. Sorry, I keep seeing it. it looks like somebody's uh, in the middle of nowhere on that mini-map, but I think it might just be the part of the lap that shows at that specific point. That was a terrible chicane. Hideous. Wow, there's a big bump on the exit of the Lesmo too. Keep forgetting about that. Lap traffic coming up ahead. Okay, you've got good consistent pace, but you're gonna need to pick it up a bit. Let's push hard. Back end got a bit uh, loose through there. Wider than it needed to be. Gap to second place looks to have stabilized a little bit, so maybe I was just uh, 
pushing uh, too hard for them during the first few laps. Well, I'm boxed in here. I put myself in a terrible position for that corner. Please don't hit me. You fucking asshole. How did you not see me? Fucking red and white Porsche looking piece of junk. Right, we got slower cars and slightly faster cars lapping each other here as I'm trying to lap them, so just be a little bit careful about this particular situation. We don't want to get caught up in them if they have a shunt with each other. back end again I was on the gas a bit too soon for that one I'm in traffic Christian of course the lap times are dropping can't set fastest laps on old tires and in traffic Wide on the exit of Ascari. Looks pretty spectacular, but it's far from the fastest line. Right, he's being sensible. It's nice to see. I can see him back there, but he's got to clear that guy first. I was about to say no, we haven't. It's us that's lapping cars, but yeah, we do have a prototype one coming through to try and lap us. God, you're just going to turn in. I know you are. You are an absolute fucking asshole. Learn to fucking drive. damaged my car because he's a fucking stupid ass back marker who couldn't tell I was overtaking him into the chicane. What a fucking prick. Confirmed, down. We'll be 
No choice, I can't drive this car pulling this far right. Yeah, no shit, Christian. Fucking AI on this game, I swear to fucking god, look at this. Look at this mess. You fucking think everything's going swimmingly, some absolute twat comes along and fucks you over. Uh, what? Might okay, we're pitting in an entirely different place apparently. I didn't edit the strategy, did I? We're not gonna take on any more fuel. Are they actually gonna do anything? Oh well apparently we are taking the fuel on. So it counts as an earlier stop then. That was going so goddamn well, wasn't it? Fucking asshole AI when you're trying to lap up. If, seriously, it just... Drives you insane. I swear to god, if I lose the fucking championship because of that guy. This car feels fucking horrible now. No idea. I can't I must have some more damage than just that. This car suddenly has so much understeer. Something don't feel right with it now. Oh look who it is, it's the fucking moron who doesn't know how to fucking let faster cars through. Get off the fucking grass. Fucking pull to the left onto the fucking grass. What the hell's happening? I have just complete understeer in this car now.
car does not feel the same as it did before I got punned it into the fucking barrier. I don't know whether it's just because the fuel's come on or... Oh, I'm destroying the front tyres. Look at the temperatures. They're overheating like shit. I just a thought, but they wouldn't have been fucking dumb enough to put wet weather tyres on this car at the pit stop, would they? Because that front left is very worrying. I just, I can't get it through that corner anymore. I cannot push this car through these Lesmo corners in the same way. I swear to God, they've put, it feels like they've put me on intermediate tyres in a bone dry race. And I cannot fathom why they, they can't have done that. I must be imagining it. All I know is that my strategy for when I pit was exactly the same. It was preset to for the tyres to be exactly as they were when I started this race. And for whatever reason, they now feel horrible. I can't get the nose into the corners. I presume they fixed the damage. I, they must have fixed the damage because it's set to default do that. But that front left tyre is not going to make another 21 laps. Especially with this fucking... Why are you fucking closing the door and the braking, you absolute twit? And you're going to pit manoeuvre me. Another fucking Aston driving like an absolute retard. The fucking Aston drivers in this game. You can fuck off in your Mustang as well. So much understeer. Ridiculous. All this because of one absolute arsehole backmarker who just would not let me through. Probably going to cost me the championship. I just pure understeer. No response at all on the steering at high speed. It's alright, it's not too bad at low speed, but at fucking high speed, something has happened to this car.
realize something else. I can... Sorry if there's been a buzzing sound going on in this video. I forgot to unplug my charger cable. I've uh, taken care of that now. I'm pushing as hard as I can, but the trouble is the car doesn't like it. Especially that front left, it's just cooked. Next time I pit, I need to have a look at what the... The strategy is because I've not experienced this not in qualifying or the practices I did and either they've changed my setup for me to something I don't want or Sweet Jesus, they've not fixed the damage. I don't know. Something's not right. Something is fucked. Fucking get out of here, you fucking twat back marker. Fucking give you a bump. If you crash into the wall, you deserve it. That's the guy I need to beat. I need to beat that Josh Renfro guy and he's 19 seconds down the road now. I think he's in the pits. thing is I don't know who else is ahead of me that was in contention to steal the championship off me. Thank you. 
It's that fucking prick in that Aston again who caused all this. Might be that the industry has stabilised a bit, to be honest. But I still, that front left is looking very hot. He can take me anyways faster. Come on, give me some breaks, Jesus. It's affected everything. Whatever's happened, it's not the steering out. My handling, my braking doesn't feel the same. I can't pinpoint it, but something is going on with this car that wasn't happening before that idiot backmarker punted me into the barrier. Parabolica in the second Lesmo where it's definitely at its worst.
could have been worse behind that guy. Somehow found a way through. Don't know how. Yeah, you see, that's how you let a fucking faster car through, you idiots. You certainly don't turn into them when they're in front of you. you run them into the barriers like an absolute bell end. Fucking happening again. This guy. Get the fuck out of here. And I'm being punted off. Look at the dude, get the fuck out of here! What are you fucking doing? You're a fucking asshole. You should not be in multi-class racing if you don't know how to behave when lap when fucking leading cars are coming through to lap you. Fucking turn. You'd be fucking getting consistent lap times, Christian, if these idiots had just learned how to drive. Run me off the track every time I'm trying to lap them when they could just politely do the exact opposite. Move over, let me through without driving into me every fucking race. Get round the fucking corner, lump of shit car. Thing is, I don't want to push too hard because that front left tire is looking like it's gonna blow. But I've got to try and make it last till my next pit stop, or I'm way out of sequence with the pit strategy again.
I can't get it through there. It will not turn on the exit of Ascari. Come on, get on the fucking track. Well, someone's lost half of their car on the uh, midpoint of the Ascari chicane. I'm losing so much time. I was... I'm going to lose nearly a second on this lap. There's absolutely nothing I can do about it. I can't pit. It's too early. Can't come into the pits and do anything this early. He'll totally ruin the strategy. I just gotta go with it. Get the fuck out of the way. I've had enough of your shit today. Going through all water, you're just gonna stand there like a fucking div. No, you're gonna pull in front of me in the braking zone, is what you're gonna do. Well, why the fuck not?
See, that's a much better way to let the AI fucking fast the cars through. Apparently somebody forgot to code that into these dicks back here. No brakes. Absolutely nothing in the way of brakes. to figure out what the hell is going on with this car. Why is my front left overheating? Why am I understeering? Why are my brakes being optional rather than actual brakes? Don't go inside of me, I'm coming in. Intermediates. But... Uh, it's no fucking wonder I've got understeer. You fucking morons have put me on intermediates. Wow. That just takes the goddamn biscuit. Not a cloud in the sky, and they sent me out on intermediate tyres. What the f- I have no words. I have no words. There are no words for that absolute level of stupidity. I should have checked it. I should have checked it when I came in last time. Just fucking assumed that they would put me on dry tires because it's not raining and it's supposed to be set to automated by weather. It just... The mind boggles. Seriously, the mind boggles. How? How? Right, that's got to the bottom of that particular issue. Now, hopefully, this car will feel a bit more like it's supposed to. How the hell I lasted that many laps on intermediate tyres in the bone dry, to be honest. Tells you a lot about how good the intermediate tyre is in this game. I don't know how the hell I haven't made the braking zone for that corner, to be honest. At this rate, I'm going to get disqualified again.
Already I can feel insane amounts of grip underneath me. Why the fuck did they put me on intermediate tyres in the bone dry? That just... <sighs> Holy shit, look at that. He's going to come on the track straight in front of me and cause me to crash. Holy hell. Somebody really hit those uh, sausage curbs. Now I know why I was overheating and understeering anyway. That one was entirely my fault. I took my eyes off the brake markers. But I'm not sorry. I am not sorry because the back markers in this game are a bunch of dicks. What's that all about? It's Christ, now I've hit the sausage curves. What in the fuck? Best driving ever, Paul. Seriously. That was such good driving. You've just fucked yourself over. You finally get the car back to where you want it, and then you drive like an absolute moron and crash. You fucking don't deserve to win this championship. Oh, come on! Every bump now is going to spin this car? Every little bump now is going to put this car into a spin. Now what the hell's going on? Now it's too instantaneous. Look at this. What is going on with this car in this race? Fucking put intermediates on it gave me terminal understeer. It finally put the right tyres on it. And now I have no rear grip at all. It's just determined to lose me this championship.
get pinched to the edge of the track by a fucking AI backmarker. What can you do? What can you do? When they drive such fucking retarded races. Oh, fuck this. What is happening here? turn I can't turn now going from one fucking extreme to the other now the steering is so fucking instant And I'm losing two seconds to the guy in front of me per lap. It doesn't make sense. Where have they suddenly got that speed from? Fourteen seconds. Where the hell have they been hiding that speed all weekend? Fourteen point seven. Fifty. What is going on here? He's found like three seconds a lap. Seconds a lap they've suddenly found. And right when I need it to, I don't have an answer. Unbelievable. The car is sliding about so much, it's unbelievable. It has not done this all weekend. I can't catch him. I can't catch him. There is no way he is 
What was his last lap? This Josh Cook. I'm a second a lap slower. I was putting in 42 nines. And now I'm... I can't explain it. I cannot explain how suddenly they are that much a lap faster than me. Another fucking back mark is going to hit me. How am I losing a second a lap to these guys? Well, there's Renfro coming out the pits. Main title contender. But I think someone's going to come in under the radar and take it off both of us. I think it could be Josh Cook. It's going to sneak up under the radar and steal it off both of us. What's going on? He suddenly, Josh Cook has found over a second a lap through the Lesmo corners. And I can't fucking get this car around any corner because it's spin central. And there goes Josh Renfro, my main rival for the championship going to go straight past me because this car has turned into shit. And not only that, he's got such a straight line speed advantage. I'd like to let him back through, to be honest. That was...
Damn, this has become intense. The car that's changed balance so much from the start of the race. Been run into the wall by a fucking back marker. Been hit by several other fucking back markers. I still feel like I have terminal understeer. And I know I'm not on intermediates, let's put it that way. And there he goes. There goes the championship. Because I'm not going to catch him now he's through. I just can't see it. Stupid mistake trying to defend and I just... Balls it all up for myself. However, he gets absolutely nerfed off by a back marker. Who it turns out isn't even a back marker, he's in our class. All the places where I have a speed advantage, I suddenly don't. And I have no brakes. And I have no rear grip. And I have no idea what the fucking hell has happened with this. I really don't. I mean, look, under acceleration, under acceleration, I wasn't even in the corner. I wasn't even in the goddamn corner, I was on the straight. And it... What are you doing? Speed up, you fucking idiots! You had a clear track in front of you and you're putting the brakes on. You're going to come back and just take the race in line, completely oblivious to the fact that I'm there. It's uncontrollable. It's just become completely uncontrollable.
Oh, you fucking get out of here. You're staying on the fucking dirt. You absolute fucking prick. I'd have thought the car would have had understeer looking at the tyre meter. But for whatever reason it just has oversteer city. And normally I like oversteer but this is uncontrollable oversteer. I can't get any cornering done. I have no corner grip at all. And I can't even begin to understand it. I just can't. Car felt so good. During practice, during qualifying, league of our own. And that one tink with that Aston Martin that put us in the wall has just <laughs> fucked our race. And when the back markers don't move, it just... You know, I might as well pit. I might as well pit. I need to do something. This car has become undrivable. It's become so undrivable.
1.4 I just I have no answer to whatever pace they're running at the minute You know what? I almost wonder whether the damn the, the setup on this car has been reset. Because it just seems all of a sudden like I'm ridiculously down on straight line speed and basically everything. I I know the tire pressure is the same, but I can't see anything else on the setup. And it is not yielding the results that it was yielding in practice. It just isn't. Something has changed on this car. Since they put the... I mean, look at this. Look at this. I can't apply any throttle. I have understeer in, the fa in there. I have oversteer coming out of the corners. The slightest bump spins me, I just, I don't have an answer for it. Something has changed since that crash with that Aston. Now I'm going to end up having to pit again, and I don't even know why the hell. I might as well retire from this race, that's how bad this car's become. I just don't know what's happened. Honestly don't understand what has happened. I'm losing, what, two seconds a lap all of a sudden. I had that advantage in qualifying. Five seconds off where I was earlier in the race. I, mean, I can't hope to close them. Sorry, didn't realise you were quite so close, but that doesn't mean you have to swerve back onto my frickin' line to...
I don't even know what that was. I don't even know what the hell that was. Get off the pissing grass. Yeah, that, that just... I can't take any corner as fast as I could earlier now. Balance has just totally changed. Car feels horrible. Championship's gone. About a minute down the road by now, probably. The AI are absolute... There's a lot of things the AI are. I could call them a lot of nasty words for what they've done to me in this race. So I'm being five seconds off already. All of that setup work, all the practice, all the pace we had, gone. Just completely disappeared. Handling's gone to shit. I don't know why the fucking back is sliding so much now, it wasn't doing that earlier. And then the very next corner it's understeer, it's just so inconsistent all of a sudden. What are you doing, you absolute fucking chimpanzee? If you're alongside me, you're going in the wall. I can swear, the AI on this game are just... Way past the point of being bearable. And so is the handling of this car. It's a, a crock of shit. Just terrible. believe how much it's changed and took my eye off the track for one second and forgot to turn for a corner <laughs> even then it was only because I thought I was going to sneeze I can't I can't do this this car is so bad it's become so bad
I have a very obvious handling issue with this car. Something has changed so much. I know, I can't... I'll tell you what, part of the problem is I don't have any confidence over the bumps anymore. It feels like any bump is going to spin this car out. The hell are you going through me? Can't, can't push any harder. I've pushed as hard as I can. Push any harder, I'm going to go around. Now I have absolutely no brakes. Just everything's changing so drastically out oh, that just And then I take a corner like that and just retard it all away and then I'm on the grass I just I might as well just fucking crash straight into a wall. It put me out of my misery. <laughs> I thought I felt the worst this car could handle in the wet at the Nürburgring. I've suddenly realised it can feel a whole lot worse and for no apparent reason. I mean, look, that's... So poor through the corner, I just... Repeat myself every chicane, because... That's basically how it feels. It's like fucking Hockenheim all over again, basically. You... You deserve to be in the gravel. You deserve every bit of gravel you've just eaten. Try putting them back up. See how it feels for a couple of laps, and then uh, if it's no better, I think I'll just box to retire because I can't get any more out of this car. I'm not going to get the championship. I'm not going to get the class win. I've led this championship from race one. 
there was two points in it and uh well let's take a look josh renfro is probably going to get the points he needs i do i carry on I'll give it a couple of laps and see. Yeah, I'm not going to catch them. Whatever I do, I'm not going to catch them. They're way gone. That felt a little bit better. That didn't. Neither did that. To be honest, neither does that. This is handling like a pig. I'm calling it. There's no point. Race over. Ending in the worst possible way. But there is no point trying to press it. The gap's too big to close. The car's handling so funny. It's done. It's totally done. Well, Jeremy Light didn't finish either. Can't even change camera. This is just... Ridiculous. Might as well skip to the end of the session. Yeah, we came dead last, I know. Retired. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. When that, after that Aston punted us into that wall and the team did that pit stop. Ah, something changed so much. The whole balance of the car seemed to change from then on. and I just couldn't get the same pace out of it. Flogging a dead horse comes to mind, really. I still get eight points, but look, Renfro took 50, so... There goes the championship.
They don't even come in the top three after that. <sighs> That's a disappointing way to win the championship. That really is. It started so well and we really... Uh, we should have won this race. We should have won this race. Whatever that Aston did to us when he, we were trying to lap him and he shoved us in the barrier. Whatever happened after that just changed the whole balance of the car. It was wrecked. It didn't help that the team decided for some stupid reason to put me on intermediates for a stint when it wasn't even raining. And I had a feeling they did. I didn't notice. I should have noticed sooner the way the car was handling. It's stupid of me not to. So, there we go. That's that. That's the championship done. We didn't win it. Uh, l largely thanks to some idiot backmarker who uh, just couldn't comprehend the idea of letting faster cars through. I, I, so fucking annoyed I can't even speak properly. You have email. Good for me. I don't give a shit. I need a break. Yeah, but I, I'm not interested in driving your historic stuff. Ah, well, that's that's uh, that's it. That's the end of the uh, European Endurance Championship. Take a look at the calendar. Let's see. What's next? Well, we're not doing that, I can tell you that much. I don't know whether we're... Hopefully we're in for this. Hopefully we're in for that. The World Endurance. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what goes on with that. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you to everybody who turned out for the stream. Sorry we couldn't do a better job, and I'm sorry I let my anger get the better of me and basically rage quit but there was no point carrying on i wasn't going to catch them just plodding around in last it wasn't very exciting for me and i'm sure it wasn't very exciting to watch so on that bombshell cue the top gear theme and uh until the next time have a good sin